you know. Um, so from a long-term existential standpoint, that's like the purpose of Neuralink is to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain such that we can be symbiotic with AI. You just can't communicate through your fingers. It's too slow. And where's Neuralink at right now? I think we'll have something interesting to announce in a few months. That's at least an order of magnitude better than anything else. Probably, I think better than probably anyone thinks is possible. How much can you talk about that right now? I don't want to jump the gun on that. Um, but what's like the ultimate, what's, what's the idea behind it? Like what are you trying to accomplish with it? Like what would you like, best case scenario? I think best case scenario, we effectively merge with AI uh, where we, AI serves as a tertiary cognition layer uh, where we've got the limbic system, um, kind of the you know, primitive brain essentially. You've got the cortex. So you're, you're currently in a symbiotic relationship. Your, your cortex and limbic system are in a symbiotic relationship. And generally people like their cortex and they like the limbic system. I haven't met anyone who wants to delete their limbic system or delete their cortex. Everybody seems to like both. And the cortex is mostly in service to the limbic system. People may think that, 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 they're, that the thinking part of themselves is in charge, but it's mostly their limbic system that's in charge. And the cortex is trying to make the limbic system happy. That's what most of that computing power is oriented towards. That's what it's trying to do. Now, if, if we do have a third layer, which is the AI extension of yourself, that is also symbiotic. Um, and there's enough bandwidth between the cortex and the AI extension of yourself such that the AI doesn't de, de facto separate, then that could be a good outcome. 